I think the Native Americans were one of the most progressive cultures in all of human history, but that is not how we're taught about Native Americans. I have a public school education. I was taught that they were savages. Is that how you guys were taught? Yeah. Savages? Yeah. Look, I get it. They went to war amongst each other over some land, but have you fucking seen us lately? <laughs> no. We're about to start World War III over a fucking Facebook post, you understand? <laughs> Then the Arawaks were an absolutely fascinating culture. The Arawaks, by the way, are the first Native Americans that Christopher Columbus met on the island. And I'm going to use that term very specifically, met. Okay? You can't discover shit that's already there. <laughs> if that is the case, then in 2009, I discovered the Grand Canyon. <laughs> it is a beautiful hole, isn't it? Yeah, but I've been having a hell of a time convincing the state of Arizona to celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. <laughs> the Arawaks came in and welcomed them. That's what you do when somebody comes into your home. You welcome them to your home, right? So they brought them gifts, they brought them food, they brought them different kind of treasures. And in his journal, Christopher writes, these people are going to be very easy to subjugate and turn into slaves. They will be very profitable for the Spanish Empire. Well, fuck. Guys, don't invite Christopher to a house party, okay? <laughs> I hope nobody sent Christopher an invite to this Facebook show, okay, on Facebook. The Airwalks didn't know what steel blades were. Steel blades was advanced weaponry to the Airwalks, right? The Airwalks, most of their weaponry was made out of stone and bamboo for this ridiculous idea of hunting and fishing to feed their people instead of murdering each other, which is so ridiculous, right? Guys, how are you supposed to show people how big your dick is if you can't kill them? Okay, big dicks never helped anybody. That's a joke you guys are going to get on the ride home. Okay, that's, that's a take-home joke for you guys. The Arawaks picked the swords up the wrong way. They would cut their hands up, and Christopher and his men would point and laugh and make jokes about them and stuff, which is all big talk coming from a man that lost three boats because he was too busy sharpening his blade and not his mind. <laughs> kind of turned into Rose Christopher Columbus there for like just a minute, didn't it? <laughs> Just for like a second, it turned to the roast of Christopher Columbus. <laughs> I think it's only fair that an actual Indian did it. <laughs> we can do this together. We can change the world.